Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are your go-to resource. We want to help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you've been to doctors and you've been to naturopaths and chiropractors and alternative practitioners and you've tried all kinds of formulas and gotten no relief, please let us show you how simple it can be to turn around any chronic degenerative disease because it is in the nature of the body to do it. 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. Likewise, if you have have questions about the longevity products or the true skin health products or formulations or ingredients or something you may have heard about or read about, or if you just have a success story you'd like to share or you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please go over, uh, go over to my website, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. We blog regularly and have videos at criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com. Thank you to John T. Collier and Robert Lundgren for setting those up. And, of course, if you're interested in checking out our truth treatment products, including our retinol 5% gel, if you're dealing with acne problems, blemishes, hyperpigmentation, dark spots, or wrinkles, or if you want to prevent wrinkles, you can do no better than retinol. It is the number one most important, along with vitamin C, the number one most important anti-aging topical skin ingredient. If you're not using vitamin A and vitamin C in its retinol form, vitamin A in its retinol form, and vitamin C in its fatty, lipophilic, stabilized form in high concentrations, you're missing the boat. And I don't know anywhere else you can get that other than truthtreatmentproducts.com, truthtreatmentproducts.com. Okay, so we are... Uh, I'm sorry, did I say Truth Treatment Products? It's truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com is the website. Truth Treatment Products is the company, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so anyway, we're talking about degenerative diseases. We're talking about how degenerative diseases develop. It's all about chaos. The body's a system, and systems require structure. Structure is the opposite of chaos. A healthy body has to have structure. And the cells that make up the body are also systems, and they require structure. What we call nutrition, the mighty 90 essential nutrients, these are structuring agents. That's how they work. They structure electricity. They give electricity form. They give energy, which is random and chaotic. They give it a certain structure and a form. And without these nutrients, energy becomes chaos. That's the purpose of vitamins and minerals and the mighty 90 essential nutrients. Have ever, anybody ever asked you or if you yourself thought to yourself, what are vitamins? What are minerals? What do they do? This is what they do. They solidify chaotic energy. Without nutrition, energy becomes chaos. Micronutrients, the vitamins, the minerals, and fats and amino acids, what we call the mighty 90 essential nutrients, these temporarily hold energy. The macronutrients, the protein and the fats and the sugar, the big nutrients, they permanently or semi-permanently hold the energy. So the vitamins and minerals are like temporary holding stations for energy, and then they deliver that energy to the macronutrients, and the structure of the body is formed that way. So the vitamins and the minerals, they temporarily hold energy so it can be transferred over to the macronutrients to make up the body. And all of this, by the way, is happening inside a cell. 
All of this energy, all this activity, all this holding and transferring and building, it's all taking place inside this miraculous little conscious entity that we have a hundred trillion of called the cell. When we're sick, somehow this energy holding and transferring and building, it's somehow not working like it should. And one of the major reasons is because we're deficient in these little holding, temporary holding stations, the vitamins and the minerals. Something is breaking down in this process of energy holding and transferring and building, not outside the cell, inside the cell. That's why we say all disease is cell disease. This energy movement, this, this holding of energy and building uh, and structuring and building, it's somehow not working and it's inside the cell. And the reason your doctor doesn't tell you this well, he doesn't know probably, but even if he knew, he wouldn't tell you because medicine is not allowed inside a cell. The only way medicine can get inside a cell is by tricking the cell or by poisoning the cell or by overwhelming the cell. They got to damage the cell to get inside it. That's the big flaw. That's the fly in the ointment. That's the gorilla in the room that nobody's talking about in the drug business, partially because they don't know, but even if they did know, they wouldn't say it. Drugs are not allowed in the sacred space of a cell where all of this energy transferring and building and structuring is going on. So they got to poison the cell or they got to trick the cell. They got to fool it, make it look like it's a vitamin, make the drug look like a vitamin. It's really nasty business when you think about it. Poor little cell. Cells are always doing something. They're always active or overactive. In fact, this overactivity is really what is ultimately the cause of death. This overactivity of a cell is really what causes diseases. It's an overactivity, not an underactivity. It's an overactivity, fibrosis, too much fibers, sec uh, a fluid accumulation, too much fluids being secreted. There's a kind of chaos that's going on in a cell and the cells are going nuts. The breaking agents, the stabilizing agents are missing. All that energy, all that chaotic energy has to be stabilized. So it can, pr production can occur. Sick cells don't need more energy. They need stable energy, controlled energy. Disease is a cellular, uh, the result of a cellular hyperactive chaotic state. Health is not about more cell activity. It's about stable activity. And this is why medicine doesn't work. Medicine cannot stabilize activity. Stabilizing is sophisticated. It's highly sophisticated. We don't understand anything about how vitamins and nutrients stabilize and hold on to energy. We don't need to. We just got to eat correctly and, stay, and, and make sure we're using our mighty 90 essential nutrients. We don't need to understand it. Nutrients do what drugs cannot. Drugs and surgeries and radiation cannot stabilize a cell. They can't do anything to stabilize a cell. Nutrients can. That's called normalization. In the world of skin care, the most important normalizing vitamin, by the way, is vitamin A. This is why vitamin A is such a fantastic vitamin for the skin, among other reasons. It's a normalizing vitamin. If you're making too many cells, if your cells are dividing too fast, and you end up with, with pimples, bl uh, blemishes, or plaques of psoriasis, or if there's too, much, too many inflammatory factors being secreted and you end up with eczema, vitamin A has an ability to kind of slow things down. On the other hand, if you have wrinkles and you're not making enough collagen, vitamin A can increase the production, help uh, cells make more collagen. That's why vitamin A will work for both acne and psoriasis and for anti-aging. It normalizes. It's a normalizing vitamin. And this is one of the major ways that vitamins in general work. They normalize. They bring the ups down and the downs up, and there's no drugs that can do it. But this normalization, of course, normalization activity, it requires energy. It requires some kind of energetics. And this is where vitamin E and the ketogenic diet come in. They kind of stabilize things. They stabilize the energy so it can be directed. They calm things down. And they work together. Vitamin E and the ketogenic diet work together. So I, that's how we started talking about this. Vitamin E is the ketogenic diet's best vitamin friend. Vitamin E is just a great vitamin for lots of things. It stabilizes cortisol. It's important for the stress, for helping control the stress response. It modulates the immune system. If you're dealing with shingles or you're dealing with acne or you're dealing with inflammatory issues or any immune issues, viruses, chicken pox, whatever, herpes, vitamin, a, vitamin E modulates the immune system and it thins out the blood. Vitamin E is a great blood. Vitamin E is such a darn good blood thinner that your doctor will tell you not to take vitamin E if you're going into surgery because it'll thin your blood too much. Okay, we'll take a break. Come back with more good health information on the Bright Side. I'm pharmacist Ben. We'll be back right after this. 
All right, we are back on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. You can also check out our blog at criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com. And, of course, if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised in the program or join the Bright Side Ben team, you can do it right off the websites criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, or brightsideben.com, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team, 866-735-2470. And if you want to purchase any of our skin health products, go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a special look at our retinol 5% gel made with the most powerful over-the-counter form of vitamin A, which is retinol. Okay. So, vitamin E, vitamin E is just a fabulously, unbelievably important vitamin for so many reasons, but not the least of which is the fact that we don't get much vitamin E unless we're supplementing. When I was in pharmacy school, they used to say it was a, you didn't need to supplement with vitamin E. They didn't even believe it was necessary, that vitamin E was an essential nutrient. Vitamin E is by far, in a way, the most powerful nutritional supplement to add to your ketogenic diet if you're doing ketogenic if if you're going ketogenic they work together they're all important but vitamin a is the most important of all the ketogenic ketogenic diets supporting vitamins vitamin e calms things down vitamin e stabilizes the energy that you're going to get from the ketogenic diet it's a blood thinner as i was saying before the break so important so powerful as a blood thinner that doctors are wary of it if you're going into surgery if you're dealing with clotted blood and many of us are First of all, you're dealing with a, a blood toxicity issue, but nonetheless, vitamin E can have an, a, has, a, has a very well-documented ability to help thin the blood, partially because of its effect on stabilizing the action of red blood cells. Do you know you have one quarter of the cells of your body are red blood cells? You have 100 trillion cells in your body, and 25 trillion of them are red blood cells. And the red blood cells are turning over really fast. This is, uh, this is one of the major ways that vitamin E imp- uh, impacts health positively is by stabilizing red blood cells. So vitamin E is a stabilizing, a stabilizing nutrient, stabilizes electrical energy, supports the ketogen- ketogenic diet. It gives the ketogenic diet an ability to provide more power and more torque. That's how the ketogenic diet works. It gives you more torque, more power. Not more speed, but more power particularly for brain health, and vitamin E and keto, the ketogenic diet work together for brain health, for movement disorders, for Parkinson's disease, for Alzheimer's disease, and for seizure disorders. I get so many letters from folks who are dealing with themselves or for their children dealing with seizure disorders. The ketogenic diet is tried and true, and vitamin E, by the way, is tried and true too for at least supporting, uh, supporting the anti-seizure benefits of the ketogenic diet, but on its own. It's got anti-seizure benefits, vitamin E. And by the way, you know the anti-convulsant drugs they give you? These anti-tegretols and Depakotes, these are, these are not nice drugs at all. If you're on uh, any of these anti-convulsant drugs, you should at least consider using vitamin E in the ketogenic diet at least to, at, at the very least, to, to reduce your dose of the, uh, of the uh, anti-convulsant, of the Tegretol or the Depakote, or whatever you're using. Not to mention weaning yourself off of it. You, could, you, can, you may be able to completely wean yourself off of it. And there's lots of nutrients, by the way. It's not just vitamin E in the ketogenic diet for seizure disorders. Zinc, progesterone, pregnenolone. Progesterone and pregnenolone are really underutilized, in my humble opinion, for excitation types of illnesses like seizure disorders. Did you know that anticonvulsant meds are now being used for bipolar disorder and for chronic pain issues, fibromyalgia? Have you seen all these commercials for something called Lyrica? I've been meaning to talk about Lyrica. Pregabalin, pregabalin, how do you say, pregabalin. If you look at the word, P-R-E-G-A-B-A, you'll see GABA in there. Pregabalin, they call it, but, or pregabalin. But uh, pregabalin has GABA right in the word, G-A-B-A. What is GABA? GABA is a calming neurotransmitter, calming brain chemical, G-A-B-A. So they're using this Lyrica for, uh, for fibromyalgia, neuropathies. And they'll tell you, well, we don't know how it works. Well, I'm telling you how it works. It's the GABA which, by the way, itself comes from the ketogenic diet. GABA, G-A-B-A, is gamma, G, amino, A, butyric acid. Butyric acid is one of those short-chain fats we talk about a lot on this program that come from the ketogenic diet. 
So in a way, Lyrica is just a drug version of the ketogenic diet. You see how simple all this stuff comes? It all boils down to the same basic ideas over and over and over again. The ketogenic diet calms things down. That's why they're using preg pregabalin for fibromyalgia and neuropathies because of the same things, that, the same kind of benefits you get from ketogenesis. They say no one knows how it works. That's, what, that's the, that's the, the uh, current conventional wisdom. No one knows how it works. Well, I'm telling you how it works. GABA and butyric acid. So vitamin E protects things. It protects fats. So if you're using the ketogenic diet, go vitamin E, 400 IU a day. You can't make your vitamin E. You're not making it, and you're not getting it from foods. Another place where vitamin E is normalizing and stabilizing benefits become important is as a counterbalance to estrogen. Estrogen is the classic hype you up hormone. For some reason, I know, you know, I think it has to do with a book that came out back in the 1960s. But even to this day, we have this idea that estrogen is some kind of feminizing youthful hormone. That's because it's involved in helping us be more fertile, helping women be more fertile. It's involved in fertility. But it's not a youth hormone. It's a stress hormone. It's a way that we handle. It's, it's one of nature's biochemical techniques or tricks for helping our bodies handle stress. And it will amp you up. Vitamin E stabilizes estrogen. It's a counterbalance to estrogen. Estrogen is not a kind and gentle youth-promoting anti-aging hormone. It's a pro-inflammatory stress hormone. This is why more women than men suffer from inflammatory diseases, autoimmune diseases, Alzheimer's disease. Also, estrogen has to be cleared out through the action of good bacteria, excess estrogen, poorly broken down estrogen. It's not even so much estrogen that's the problem, although estrogen will hype, you, hype things up. It's the breakdown product of estrogen. Estrogen breakdown, or they say metabolism, but we'll just say breakdown. Estrogen breakdown is a very complicated process. And unfortunately, in the breakdown process, toxic estrogens are produced. That's usually not a problem if we're healthy because these toxic estrogens are then cleared out of the body, mostly through the bowels. However, if we're dealing with constipation, if we're dealing with dysbiosis or messed up gut bacteria, if we're dealing with deficiencies in fiber, if we're dealing with vitamin E deficiencies, none of this is going to happen as it should, and these toxic estrogens will build up, and boom, you'll have an autoimmune disease or Alzheimer's or any kind of inflammatory issue, fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia, you guys, is the classic estrogenic dysfunctional gut disease. And guess what? Doctors say, we don't know what causes it. Well, I'm telling you what causes it. And if you don't believe me, fast for a couple of days and watch what happens to your symptoms. This is why fasting is so important, by the way. It slows things down. It calms things down. It gives the body a chance to stabilize. It gives cellular activity a chance to become stabilized. All right, so if you're dealing with any estrogenic health issues, which is a lot of them, degenerative disease issues, inflammatory issues, fibromyalgia, migraine headaches, think vitamin E. Think ketogenic diet. Think probiotics. Think gut health. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll take a break and come back right after this. Don't go away. On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about health, nutrition, the longevity products, formulations, ingredients, the True Skin Health products, retinol. If you're dealing with a health challenge that uh, seems intractable, rest assured, if it is in the nature of a degenerative disease, it's not. Because it's in the body's nature to be regenerative. Disease may be degenerative, but the body is a regenerating system, which is our guarantee, our testimony, that if we're dealing with inflammatory issues, autoimmune issues, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, whatever, acne, skin diseases, whatever the degenerative health crisis is, cancer itself, it is in the body's nature to reverse. Spontaneous remissions occur. They call them spontaneous because they seem miraculous. Spontaneous remissions and re spontaneous regressions occur all the time from stage four cancer, let alone from, from eczema or psoriasis. 
diabetes, intestinal issues. These are all reversible, friends, without drugs, without doctors. From uh, Neurobiology of Aging, Autumn 1982, quote, lipid peroxides, those are, those are nasty fatty chemicals that cause toxicity, during aging are associated with vitamin E deficiency. How do you like that? Vitamin E deficient rats showed decreases in various brain markers here. I won't get into the specifics of the types of brain markers associated with, uh, associated with a healthy brain. Another one, Journal of Neuroscience. This was from October 1998. Long-term dietary vitamin E supplementation or strawberries and spinach, by the way, which are sources of vitamin E, retard the onset of age-related neuronal signal transduction. That means brain health, basically. Slows down brain, brain, slows down brain degeneration with vitamin E. For spinal cord injuries, for all kinds of brain traumas, for metabolic syndrome, which is a diabetes-related issue. I'm telling you, the benefits of these things, and, and this is from the literature. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've seen the healing properties of vitamin E with my own eyes. When I was dosing people with vitamin E or, or suggesting people dose themselves with vitamin E, for wounds, for healing wounds, it's un unbelievable for healing wounds, their blood pressure would drop. Or they, their sexual performance would improve. Their libido would improve. That's another thing that vitamin E is important for is libido and fertility. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. Let's hit the phones and go to, let's go to Shirley in California. What's up, Shirley? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, good morning, Dr. Um, ben. I Pharmacist puffy, Ben. Yes, I have puffy eyes, uh, puffy bags under my eyes. Okay. And I've been successful in shrinking, shrinking them with fennel essential oil and co with coconut. Tell me about that. How are you, what are you doing? Applying it right to the eye? No, no, under the, you know, where the bags are. But I mean, right to the bags, so I mean, right to the area under the bags, or you're not, you're not taking them orally, in other words, you're not drinking the, the essential right. oil, water, fennel, okay. Uh, no, but right now, it's, it's not doing it anymore, so. Well, of course it's not, because it's not a skin <laughs> issue, sweetheart. Shirley, let me tell you about this, because this really gets my goat when I see, I see all these ads. I got one from a doctor the other day, and I was just so ticked off, I was going to, I was going to call him out on the air, but I'm not going to do that, uh, where they tell you about, you rub the skincare product on, under your eyes, and the bags will go away. Well, that's baloney, okay? Let me explain to why. It, it, they take advantage of our misunderstanding or our, our non-understanding of what the skin is. So let's talk about what the skin is. I know we do this periodically, but it's a subject that's near and dear to my heart. Okay? So you got bags under your eyes, right? First of all, recognize that the skin under your eyes is the thinnest skin in your body. So w under your eyes, you have an instant window or or a relatively instant window to what's happening in your blood because you can see through it. You know what I'm saying? The skin is very thin there. Okay. It's um, uh, fragile. It's, they're, they're very fragile. That's correct. The skin under there is very fragile because it's very, very thin. So here's the deal. We have to understand that the skin is made up of layers. And within the layers, you have non-skin. Okay? So the skin is made up of layers. Think of a, just think of a cake. Think of a layer cake. Okay? And within that layer cake, you have a wiring and, and tubules. But the tubules themselves are not part of the cake. They're not part of the skin. The tubules carry fluid, okay? And then deeper still, you have a layer of fat. And that's how the skin is, okay? You got the skin, which is made up like a layer cake, and then you got uh, tubules running through that layer cake, okay? And that carries fluid, blood and lymph. And then underneath the whole thing, you got a bunch of fat. Can you picture that now? Okay, and okay. lymph. Oh, okay. okay, it's called lymph. It's a fluid that carries waste as well as some nutrients. Okay, but I just want you to think of the, I want you to imagine this, okay? Because if we can't imagine this in our mind's eye, then we're just going to trust whatever silly thing a doctor tells us or a commercial tells us to do. But if we can picture what's happening here, it'll start to make sense. So you got your skin, right? This is all skin, head to toe. Top of your head, bottom of your, to your bottom of your feet. All the skin is made up of layers. You have like a layer cake. Layer one, layer two, like baklava. You know what baklava is? Uh, yeah. You know how it's made up in layers? Uh-huh, yeah. Okay? So that's how your skin is. It's made up in these layers. And within these layers, you have these tubes that are carrying blood and lymph. And this is true about the skin on your wrist or the true skin on your toe or the skin on your eye, everywhere. Now, underneath the whole thing, you have fat. So can you picture that now? Layer yeah. cake, okay, layer, baklava, plumbing, a circulation fluid, and then uh, fat, a layer of fat. Here's the take-home message. This is so important. I want you to hear this now and everybody listening. If you've got bags under the eyes or any skin problem, this is the take-home message. The skin, the layers that make up the baklava are different in nature from the tubes. 
and they are different in nature from the fat. These are three distinct types of stuff. You've got the layers that make up the baklava, you've got the tubes, and you've got the fat. Make sense? Okay, yeah. Are you with me? Can you picture this? Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, you mentioned okay. the Y-ring y tubulars. Was that, was that correct? No, they're that. like tubes, like miniature microscopic tubes that carry blood and carry lymph. They're vessels. They're like two, uh, a certain, you know, like blood flow, like blood tubes, like blood veins and arteries. But they're basically microscopic. They're capillaries. They're tiny, tiny, tiny. Okay. Here's the problem. When you have bags under your eyes, where do you think the bags are occurring? What do you think is causing the bags? Do you think it's the skin? Do you think it's the tubes? Or do you think it's the fat? Um, I think there's. Fluid is you hit the nail on the head, Shirley. It's the fluid. It's not the skin. You have to. You have a fluid issue, not a skin issue. But you're applying your product to the skin. You see the. You see why it's important to make this distinction. If you don't know what you think it's all one thing, and it looks like one thing, especially in the eye, it's so thin, you're gonna think, uh, well, I'll just rub it on. No, you got to get in the fluid. The fennel's not getting in the fluid, Shirley. Your cream that you're spending at $500 or $100 or $200 or $50, your eye cream, it's not getting to the fluid. And it's even worse than that because if you've got a fluid problem in your eye, you've got a fluid problem everywhere. You have a circulation problem. That means you're running high risk for heart disease if you don't already have it. You follow me? I, you have, I've had a heart attack. but, but Okay. This is what I'm, do you see how it's connected? But if uh, you don't, sure. but you see, but if we didn't, if I didn't just spend five minutes or 10 minutes, probably hopefully not boring anybody with this, this is very important. If I didn't just spend 10 minutes with you to have you imagine this, you would just rub a cream on your eye. And that's what 99.9% .9 of people do. Estheticians do it. Dermatologists do it. And customers do it and clients do it because we don't make this distinction between that's why distinctions are so important I'm always talking about distinctions on the show making distinctions if we don't make a distinction between these three components the tubules and the skin and the fat we're just gonna rub something on and hope for the best that's how skincare works rub it on and hope for the best and by the way the fat underneath also plays a role there's a the fat can also cause problems so hang tight show we'll finish up when we come back okay don't go away I'm pharmacist Ben you're listening to the bright side we'll be back right after this. We are back on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Shirley in California. Shirley, you there? I'm still there. Uh -huh. Okay, so I hope I didn't, I wasn't too hard on you there. I didn't mean to be. Uh, okay. No, I'm getting it. I'm, I'm, but I'm thinking you're going towards jumping and maybe some more. Yeah, uh, Shirley, you should be, you should be a guest host on this show. You hit the, you must be. I've got a lot of work with this stuff because, yeah. um. You know, it's a circulation a issue. And the reason I get so ticked off when people try to sell you products is, number one, because it's not going to work and it's a ripoff. But number two, it misleads you into, into thinking you have a skin problem. When you don't, you have a circulation problem, which is affecting your heart and it's affecting your kidneys and it's affecting your longevity. You see what I'm saying? It's not cosmetic. Now, there's a whole fat issue, too. I, I don't have time to get into that, but rest assured, you're, you're depositing fats, too. That's not the bagginess. That's more like a, that's, you can kind of, that's sort of a puffy, not a puffiness, really, but you can sort of see fat deposits under the eye. That has to do with the lymph. But again, that circulation is really what you want to focus on, even if it's the fat deposits. All right? So get on a rebounder, absolutely. Start using vitamin E, which is amazingly important uh, for the I'm lymph. Stay on high doses of vitamin E right Stay now. Stay on the high doses of vitamin E. Uh, make sure you're using the Healthy Star Pack and the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. You can do lymphatic massage. That will help. And you can also do brushing. Yeah, brushing brush. Brushing's good. That's not for the lymph necessarily, but brushing is good. And then also um, hanging upside down. If you do an inversion device, I don't know if you've ever seen those, but those oh, are. Really? Yeah, I do have one. Get on it. <laughs> That'll oh, make I a huge. I haven't used it in a while because of the knee. You know, it hangs. You have to hang from your knee, basically. You don't want to. Yeah, it might put. Some, it pull has a pulling little. effect, but still, it's great for the lymph. Unbelievable, and for the heart too. If you have any digestive oh. issues, you need to correct those. But you, you know what to do, Shirley. You might have you been listening to the program for a while. Yeah. Yes. So, what if I just did forward bend? So I'm just like hanging my head down. That'll help. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am, that will help. Anything you can do to upside, go upside down. Because the lymph doesn't have a way of going upwards. But when you hang upside down, gravity will pull it down. But when you're standing upright, the lymph is depending on you to move around. That's why you got to move. Deep breathing is another way to move the lymph, and it's also a great strategy anyway. And when you're deep breathing, always exhale more than you inhale. So no, okay. nothing topical you can you can. No, it's not no. a topical condition. Now, now there's some inf <laughs> if there's some inflammation in there, which sometimes there is, you no. might get some benefits, some anti-inflammatory benefits by using the things like the fennel, uh, vitamin C. But really, you want to focus on the circulation. That's what you're looking at. Okay. 
Okay, Shirley. All right. Thanks for Thank you for uh, thank you for the help. Thank you. Have a beautiful day. Thanks for your call. Appreciate it. Okay, let's go to Oklahoma. Is okay. What's up, Justin? Hey, I was wondering on the. Uh you were talking the other day, I believe, on that lecithin being an emulsifier. Is that correct? Yes, uh, yes correct? sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, could, could you use that by doing mixing the uh, the coffee with the coconut oil and butter yeah. and all that? Would, Absolutely. Would it help on that? Absolutely, okay. it will. It'll make the it'll make the, that uh, that's the bulletproof coffee thing you're talking about. Yeah, that it will make the coconut oil go into the coffee more effectively, and it'll make it creamier. I mean, it's, it's okay. more aesthetic. You know, it'll help the absorption a little bit as well. It'll definitely help the absorption as well, but it'll make it more palatable and creamy. Lecithin always makes things creamy. You can, you know what? I haven't tried that. Is it tasty? The coconut oil in the coffee? It's pretty good. It, yeah, it's, it's uh, an acquired taste the first time. Okay, well, I'm not a coffee drinker, so I don't know, can't say too much, but fats tend to amplify flavors. So the, if you like coffee, it's going to amplify the flavor of the coffee. I wonder, and I'm just thinking aloud here, maybe you want to try this, if you cracked an egg in there, what would happen? Or is that too gross? I'm not a coffee drinker, so I can't tell you. But if you, I'll try if you, it and I'll let you know. Let me know, because an egg has lecithin in it, and you'll up, up, the, up the protein value. Would you give us a call and let us know how that works? Yeah, a raw, a raw egg. You know, you know, people think raw eggs are gross. They're not. Do you ever hear of this thing called an orange Julius? Yes. You know what that is? Or what it originally it's orange was? Orange juice and raw egg. You got it. You got it. The egg makes, makes the orange juice really nice and creamy. I wonder if it would do the same thing for the coffee. Would you call us and let us know if you try it? Yeah. Okay, Justin. I hope I helped you. Thanks, man. Yep. Thanks. All right. All right. Let's go to Carl, the Truth Raider. What's up, Truth Raider? Welcome to the Bright Side. Bonjour, monsieur. Comme si bien. What's going on? What's <laughs> going on? Truth, uh, truth Raider, get, 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 give me some, uh, help me out here. Well, What's gonna, going on? You're going to need to be able to if you're going to Toronto, Ontario. Oh, I'm going week. to Toronto. That's right. Thank That's you right. for the plug. Thank oui, you. Oui. <laughs> That's not French, though. Toronto's not France. Or oh. not uh, French Canadian. French Canada. French Canada. Well, Montreal is. the eastern side of Canada, so I'm sure they, they have... Uh, they, might, they probably speak a little French there, yes. Yeah, yes. sure. Hey, I've got this thing that's going on where I, it, uh, I told you about it before, maybe a couple of years ago. I was concerned about it. And you, you said, well, that, that, that's not normal, though. But right where the sternum is... Or you right sure I wasn't talking about you? Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely about me. I'm not normal. Okay. <laughs> no, Nobody's I'm, normal. No, there's no such thing as normal. That's so, a myth. On the left side of my rib cage, at the base of the rib cage, there's like a, a cartilage that pops, and it, it presses back and forth and buckles. It kind of like does, does a little bit of a popping sound. And got I it. And I asked you about it, and you said that, that, that's not normal to do yeah, that. Yeah, you're falling apart, bro. That's, you got MBFA. You, got, you know what MBFA disease is? Uh, um, my body is falling apart disease. Oh, yeah, that's, right. that's the only disease there is. My body is falling apart disease. They want to name everything so you can have specialists. And you have to go to a specialist. You have to go to a, a, a rib cracking specialist, uh, Carl the Truth Raider. And the oh, rib cracking it. specialist okay. will give you special rib cracking dis, uh, uh, drugs and rib cracking protocols. And we, we, we specialize in rib crack. No. Your body's falling apart. You're, and I, I don't mean that facetiously. I'm trying just to make a point. You know, right. this is how we break down. And Carl, with all due respect, at the age of, you know, I'm 56, you know, this one it starts to happen. If you don't, yeah. if you don't, if we don't t start to take care of ourselves with the mighty 90 essential nutrients, with controlling the amount of calories that we ingest, with going keto, making sure we're going ketogenic and using all these ideas we talk about on the bright side, staying away from sugar and m mental and emotional strategies and spiritual strategies as well, it's inevitable that gravity will kick in. It's called entropy. It's a law of physics. You know what I'm saying? It kicks right. in. Life is anti-entropy, and it takes energy to be anti-entropy. This is right. all physics, really, at the end of the day. I yep. don't want to get all technical on it, uh, everybody yep. here, but, but gravity kicks in, and entropy kicks in, and you're breaking down. There's connective tissue that holds everything together. Yep. And when that connective tissue starts to break down, the pieces start to fall apart, start okay. to fall down. I got a call yesterday or a text yesterday from a friend of mine. She says, what do we have for prolapsed uterus or prolapsed bladder? And... Uh, you know what a prolapse is, by the way, what you're ha experiencing is a type of prolapse. Have you heard yeah. the term prolapses? Prolapses yeah. is when the organs fall down because the connective tissue starts to break up. Well, right. the same thing happens to the joints and it happens to the, the, the ribs and it happens to the muscles. The connective tissue starts to break down. That's how we fall apart. That's what MBFA disease is. The connective tissue is falling apart. So what okay. do you do? Carl the truth raider. You got to turn it around, man. We want you around for a while. So well, I'm turn it around. Well, what's going on, Ben? Uh, so, uh, you know, coupling with that, 
is that I when I sometimes when I raise up or I stretch or move in a certain way or bend down or do any type of an exercise that involves the center area of my body right here, right here, the solar plex, yeah. is that I get this intense tight cramp that comes up like a hernia type of cramp. Well, a hernia oh. is a is an example of the connective tissue breaking down, but it sounds yeah. to me like you're describing more cramping. Yeah, and right that in that can, same area. I, okay, that's a, that's an electrical issue. Again, it's it, it, in the long run, it's going to cause things to break down, but right now it's an electrical issue. So start using electrical nutrients, electrical lots nutrients. of them. The electrical oh. nutrients are your water-soluble nutrients primarily, the B-complex and the electrolytes. Okay. And, this, and deficiencies are common because we urinate them out. So unless you're replacing your electrolytes and your B vitamins and your vitamin C throughout the day, the likelihood is great that you're going to become deficient somewhere, sometime uh, in the middle of the day. So what you want to do is you want to sip on your BTT all day. You want to use vegetable juices, which are an amazingly important source of electrolytes, making them fresh, not V8, but making them fresh. When you spin the electrolyte, the uh, vegetables in a, in a blender, you spin the electrolytes and you create an electrical charge. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be amping up electrical energy. Now, later on, you're going to need to stabilize that energy, and that's where vitamin E comes in. And vitamin E, by the way, has some really nice anti-cramping benefits, but it takes a little bit of time for the vitamin E to work because vitamin E is fat-soluble. But the electrolyte those will work quickly. And even any electrolyte drink that you can get, Rebound FX, uh, the uh, Beyond Tangy Tangerine, as well as the veggie juices, even salt water, Carl, the truth Raider. Okay. Hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get one more call in, buddy, okay? All right, I'll, I'll get started on that. Vitamin E, and I'll get the protein drink. I'm taking a couple of those things, too, as well. Protein will help, too, but make sure you're using the electrolytes. Okay. All right, All right. buddy. Take okay. care. All right, Matthew in Texas, you get the last word. What's up, brother? Matthew. Hello? Hey, Matthew, what's going on, man? Ben, I've been listening to your show for years. I love you, man. You're doing a great thing. Thank I got you. a question that I uh, I wanted to ask you about. Um, I have a, a daughter who is five years old. She consumes lots of vegetable juices and things like that. Probably a higher level of, of sugars with the, the number of apples and things like that. Carrots. She just eats those all day. But um, she has enamel dysplasia. And I okay. wanted to ask you if you had any suggestions about that. Is that yeah, bacteria, been? mouth bacteria. That's what I'd yeah. be focused on. Yes, Ma uh, make sure she probiotics. Make sure she's using, um, there's a very important relationship between oral bacteria and gut bacteria. I would suspect uh -huh. she's got some dysbiosis. Hey, I got 30 seconds. If you can call back okay. or you want to send me an email, ben at ksco.com, I'll help you out. Uh, but focus on the gut and probiotics. That's what it sounds like to me. Um, but if, yeah, if you want to contact me, I'll, I'll give you some personal help. Thanks for your call, Matthew. All right, that's all the time we have for today. We'll be back at you tomorrow with more good health information. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening. Have a wonderful, beautiful spectacular. Spectacular day. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.